Hey, welcome back. We'll continue to build on the code we started the previous lecture and work on the rotation part in reference to multiple attractors. Let's begin. We will add the Rotate 3D component and then connect the geometry output from scaling to geometry input in Rotate 3D. Now we will take a copy of the remapping numbers, domain range, sliders, as we did before. Changing the domain from 0 to 360 this time, as this will be representing degrees of rotation. Then we translate the remap numbers from degrees to radians through using this component, which is then connected to the rotation angle in Rotate 3D. We then specify our center of rotation by connecting the base center of our cones, which is the geometry output, from our move component. The last part of the newly added code is that we want our cone's axis of rotation to be impacted by the vector direction, from grid points towards the attractor point. So we do the same as we did with distances, but this time with vectors. We connect the base point to the grid points, and the tip point to each of our four attractors. Then we find their minimum. Now we want to display our vectors as an easy way to visualize them before connecting to the Rotate 3D component. So we add unit vector component that connected to vector to preview input in vector display component. as we connect our anchor point to our grid points. We now connect our minimum value of vectors result to the axis of rotation in the Rotate 3D component. Then connect geometry output to B input in solid difference. And now we have our points moved and scaled according to our four multiple attractors. We will do as always and bake into Rhino by right click, bake, choose layer, and click OK. And that's the end of our third code, multiple attractor geometrical transformation code. Now you will need to get familiar a bit with the code by doing the coming exercise.